In this video, we're going to cover the inverse square law as applied to light. We're going to cover luminosity L versus flux F and distance D. Here we have a light bulb and the light bulb is lit. You only see the top half of the light bulb with the lit light bulb inside the lamp. We're looking in a dark room. We've got the top half of the lit light bulb sticking out of the lampshade and it's very bright at the surface of the light bulb. But as you step away from the light bulb, as you can follow the light being shined on the wall, it gets dimmer and dimmer and dimmer. The brightness or flux of the light decreases with distance from the light bulb. So let's look, take a look at luminosity, flux, and distance first, and then apply the inverse square law. First thing we want to go over is the luminosity L. Luminosity is power. It's the power output at the surface of the light bulb. So let's say we went to the store and we bought a light bulb and that light bulb at the surface of the light bulb has a power output of 100 watts. So that is the power which we call the luminosity when we're talking about light. And the units are going to be watts, a power unit. Now we want to find what is the flux at the surface of the light bulb. So the flux at the surface of the light bulb, just like the luminosity at the surface of the light bulb, will have subscript S to indicate that it's at the surface. So the flux at the surface of the light bulb is just the luminosity at the surface of the light bulb, 100 watts, and you're going to divide that by the area that the light spreads over. So it's going to be a spreading over of 4 pi, now put that in parentheses, and then I'm going to put in parentheses distance d, close parentheses, and square the distance d. So that is the definition of the flux at the surface of the bulb. It's the luminosity at the surface divided by 4 pi d squared. We want to find, let's say, the flux at a distance of 2d. So we want to find the flux at a distance of 2d. Remember d is the diameter of the light bulb. So let's say you want to sit 2d away from the light bulb. You want to read a newspaper. You want to be really close to the light bulb because it's really dark in the room. So to see the newspaper and read it, you need to be really close to the light bulb. So we want to find out how much light is going to fall on our newspaper at a distance of 2d. So that's what we want to find. We already know what we're given. We're given the information over here. We have 100 watts for our luminosity, and we know the definition at the flux at the surface of the bulb, which is the luminosity divided by 4 pi d squared, by definition. We want to find the flux at a distance of 2d. So the flux at a distance of 2d is the same equation. First of all, we need to look at the luminosity. Luminosity doesn't change. It's always the same value at the surface of the object. In this case, it's a light bulb. We still retain our 4 pi. And this time, instead of being at a distance d at the surface of the light bulb, we're at a distance of 2d, twice the distance from the surface of the light bulb. So I'm going to put 2d inside the parentheses in the denominator, and I'm going to square it. So now we're just going to carry everything through. We've got luminosity at the surface. We're going to divide that by 4 pi. And I'll put the 4 pi in parentheses. And we have a d that's squared. So I'm going to pull that out, d, and put it in its own parentheses and square it. And the only thing left that I need to square is the 2 that was left inside of the parentheses. So I'm just going to pull that out as well. Now I'm doing this so it's easier to identify the original flux. So here's the definition that we're given. Flux at the surface is equal to the luminosity at the surface divided by 4 pi d squared. Well, if you see, I just pulled that out of the f sub 2d equation. So we can identify that that is f sub s, so all we need to do is substitute it in. So the flux at 2d is equal to the flux divided by the flux at the surface, sorry, flux at the surface divided by the only thing left, which is 2 squared, which is 4. 
So this is the same thing as saying one quarter of the original flux at the surface of the light bulb. So the flux at a distance of 2D is one quarter that of the flux at the surface of the light bulb. So if you just went to 2D, a distance of 2D, where D is the diameter of the light bulb, the flux or the brightness has decreased to one quarter of the original value. As you step further and further away, the brightness or flux gets decreases, gets lower and lower and lower. So here we have one quarter F sub S. And if you notice, I labeled it already in the diagram, one quarter F sub S. So let's take a look at this. Notice that the square, the distance is squared and it's in the denominator or the inverse. It's not in the numerator, it's in the inverse or the denominator. And it's always squared. So this is called an inverse square law. Wherever you are squaring distance in the denominator, it's an example of an inverse square law. And light is an example of an inverse square law. Now we can also do the same thing at a distance of 3D. If I did the flux at a distance of 3D, the only thing I need to know is we keep our flux at the surface of the light bulb. We're going to put our divide by symbol, and it's an inverse square law. So I am going three times the original distance. So I put my three in the parentheses, and I'm going to square it because it's an inverse square law based on the original distance d squared, which is part of that f sub s. So if we divide that out, 3 squared is 9. It's in the denominator. We end up with 1 ninth the original value of the flux at the surface of the light bulb. So let's review. It's a dark room. You have a newspaper, and you need to read it. If you stand right at the surface of the light bulb, you're going to get the brightest amount of light. If you step away a distance of double the distance of the diameter of the light bulb, the light brightness has decreased to one quarter that of at the surface of the light bulb. You might still be able to read the newspaper. If you go to a distance of three times the diameter of the light bulb, now the flux or the brightness falling of the light falling on the newspaper is one ninth of the original value. As you step further and further away from your light bulb, the flux or the brightness of the light decreases by the square of the distance.